Hello and welcome to day 16 of my training here with Abby. Uh, we continue our training at home. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's day 16. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, it has actually been longer than 16 days. Uh, but I'm classing the actual training days of the days with the actual guide dogs trainers. Uh, just so it's easy to follow in that sense. So... Um, yeah, I, we've actually been training now for over three weeks. Uh, in fact, we're onto our onto our fourth week now. So it's Friday today. Uh, Friday the bear with me. Uh, Friday the tenth of August. Um, we've already done two training sessions this week, as you have you as you've seen, and uh, we've pretty much been focusing on. Um, working on some more local routes so I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute because I realise that I haven't really been explaining it too well um, it's a bit weird since I've been home it's been very different from training in the hotel we had you know when we done one walk was going back home uh, so I go back into the room where I had a chance to speak to you and explain things whereas at home it's sort of we we'll, we go out and do you know one two or three different routes sort of in, in one go so I don't really get a chance to speak to you between there and then by the time it comes to later on that day, I've, I've forgotten a bit, so uh, I try and sort of fill in a few little gaps anyway. But so yeah, today is guide dogs training day 16, and um, it's around 11 o'clock, half 11 now. The trainers will be arriving in about an hour's time, uh, and we're going to go out and work on some more routes. <laughs> So today I believe we're going to go and work on a brand new route. This is something that I even didn't work with Hudson. Um, it's, it's funny because from my house, sort of everywhere that I go has always been in sort of the north direction. I don't know if that's actually right. I'm probably just making that up. But in a, in, a, in a certain direction, like everything, the, the town centre is down there, uh, the retail park, the football ground, my gym, the, the stores that I go to, this... There's the um, there's a lot in in one direction, whereas the other side I don't, I, I you know I've never really been apart from for a block route, and there's a lot there's a lot more when you start walking further down the main road. There's uh, my local hospital, Kingsville Hospital, that's there. I mean I don't have many appointments there, but it's it's good to sort of have that route if you uh, if you know if I do have any appointments there, which I can you know probably a couple of times a year I do, so it's not going to be used that often, but it's good to have it. Uh, there's a there's another supermarket down there. Uh, but but more importantly, there's a really really nice walk around uh, the Kings Mill Reservoir. So, um, it's especially uh, you know when you've got nice weather, when it's not too hot but also not too cold. It's a uh, it's a nice little route to uh, just go for a nice stroll up there, and uh, I know that Abby will certainly enjoy that. So, um, I've asked the trainers this time if we can work on that. Uh, I've got a bit of a visual memory of it, but I don't think I've ever really walked that on my own completely blind, whereas everywhere else sort of in Mansfield I pretty much have, so I thought it was a good opportunity whilst the trainers are here to go and go and work on that. Uh, you know, they're there to advise me where's probably best, safest to cross roads. It's walking down the main road, so sometimes I think I'm going to have to indent around some corners, uh, you know, just so if any cars do come around the corner pretty fast, I've got time to slow down, you know, if I'm crossing the road and things like that. So. Um, you know, it'd be quite helpful for me and, and Abby to uh, to walk that route and uh, just practice sort of where we'll be best across and things like that and just get used to a few landmarks, you know, figuring out different surfaces so I know where uh, where to turn and uh, find the tactiles, all sorts of things like that, really. So um, what I think we'll end up doing is similar to the last video, Training Day 15, where... Uh, I worked Abby for so much of the route, so I think uh, I think if it was 15 or 14, yeah, training day 15 was when we went to town. So um, I worked her down towards the traffic lights, well, and then over the traffic lights. So it was pretty much to the entrance of the town centre, because that's what we've already shown her on the lead, um, and that's what we've already sort of been approved on. Um, so I worked her to that point in harness, and she did absolutely fine, and then. We then shown her the rest of the route on the lead, um, and it'll be the same again today. I'll work her up to uh, the first set of traffic lights, which she's done before, and we've been approved on because that's the block route. 
and then we'll probably take off the harness and then uh, and then walk the rest of the route on the lead um the reason for that I, i've not really explained this properly in previous videos so uh, i'm just going to go touch on it now a little bit more um the reason why we're showing them the routes on the lead is something that's quite um you know often done with with guide dogs and that and the training is uh, it's not just so they can try and remember it i mean it does help uh, the more you go over a route they're gonna you know remember certain points of where to go so if you go to a certain drop curb you know next time you you go to that drop curb they'll think oh you know that's where i'm supposed to be going sort of thing so it does help them uh sort of remember their way uh but it's also just the fact that it gives myself and the trainer and Abby just to relax and walk on the lead so you know Abby can chill out she can sort of look around have a few sniffs and get that sort of out of system which she needs to do for new places um, but for myself and the trainer you know we don't have to worry about going to the right curb for the first time uh, which are you know would be important when when she, Abby's in harness you know you want to get things right for the first time um, who is that Right. Okay, bear with me. Someone trying to sell me a, an iPad. No, thank you. Anyway, back to where we were. So, um, yeah, you want to try and get things right when you're, especially when you're on harness. So, doing it on the lead gives us a bit of more, bit more time to think about which way we want to go, and then show her the the places that we, you know, that the the key points that you want the dog to sort of try and remember and try and hit every time. So. As I mentioned before, like certain cro certain points to cross and uh, and things like that. So that's why um, a lot of these walks we are showing Abby on the route. Uh, sorry, on the lead first, uh, and then what we're doing is then at a later date or in the same day, depending on how much time we've got available, we will then do that walk in harness. So um, that's why we're doing lead walks. And another thing that I also want to mention is uh, I know a, a few guide owners. Um, this is quite a new thing that that's um, you know that 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 guide dogs are trialing. Uh, well, it's, I think some 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 teams have been doing it for a long time, and some teams are just starting it. So um, this is so this may differ if you're a guide dog or if you're going to be training in the future. This may differ depending on where you are and what what they're you know what they decide to do. But um, they they're also now approving us on routes. Um, so previously, when I trained with Hudson. Uh, we were we weren't allowed to go out and and do any routes without the trainers present, uh, and the trainers at that point was coming out every day. So that's the difference. They were coming out every day, so we were still practicing those routes, you know, over and over again and and and, and perfecting them. Um, however, now um, what guide dogs? This is for the the Birmingham mobility team on this particular class. Again, I don't know if they're going to carry this on in the future or or what. I, you know, I don't know those answers. That's uh, something that guide dogs will be able to answer, but. Uh, what they've been doing for, for myself and for the other people on this class is um, approving us on routes. So once we've done the lead walk and shown the dog the way to go and things like that and the best the best uh, key points, uh, we then go out there and work that on on harness. Now, this is where the sort of guide dogs are sort of assessing you on those particular routes. So um, so far. We've been approved on the block walk, the cob cabin walk, the doctor's route, and uh, and the and and the Mansfield Town FC route. I think it is. So we've already been approved on a few. So we've been followed and watched in harness, and you know they've they've gone perfectly well. So um, so that's been that's been ideal. So so when the trainers aren't here, I'm now able to go out and practice those on our own. Uh, which I have been doing. I, I haven't been filming those cause I, because obviously I don't want there to be too many videos. I want you to see the the main points of training. So, uh, but on our on our days off, as in the days without the trainers, uh, that's what I, me and Abby have been working on. So, um, and I th I think um, this route today in particular, um, I've been lucky on the other routes I've done. So the block route and all those ones. I feel like they're routes that I know so well off the back of my own hand, sort of thing. It's like um, uh, I've said this before. I can do it with my eyes closed, which is probably a good job. Cause I'm blind, but um, I know it really, really well. And and Abby, thankfully, has picked it up very quickly as well. So those routes, uh, we've been absolutely fine on. Whereas I think this one, 
that we're going to work on today I don't know as well so I'd imagine we'd probably have to do the walk a couple of times in harness before we're approved uh, but that's the idea you know you, you work on things like that this one's going to be more challenging for us because we haven't done it but then again it's also in a straight line pretty much so it can't it probably won't be that difficult I don't really know until we actually get out there and start it so uh, but I just wanted to explain that because I've again in the last few videos since being home it's been a bit hectic um, so it's, it's my opportunity now to just say you know tell you a little bit more about why we you know show the dogs on the lead and also whilst why you know why on this class uh, I've been able to be approved on some routes and, and things like that to then practice on our own so uh, yeah hope that uh, makes things a little clearer um, anyway so the trainers will be here in the be here in the next uh, 45 minutes or so I think and we will we'll, you know we'll we'll get on our way uh, to Kingsville Hospital and the Kingsville Reservoir should be a should be a nice day what do you think Abs? Are you tired? She still seems a bit shattered actually. You have to wake up soon. Ah. <laughs> oh bless her. Hello. You're sleeping. Okay, slight change of plan. No Emma, well, we've got a Emma, <laughs> but not the trainer Emma. Uh, Emma and Ben uh, gave me a call earlier and let me know that uh, they've had some car trouble. So uh, I had a chat with her on the phone uh, and we decided that we're gonna, obviously they can't make it today. So now me and Emma are gonna go and do the walk that we was gonna do anyway. Uh, we've already driven the route, so we've already sort of, uh, well, no, you haven't, but as in myself and the trainer. So they've already had a look at it to decide which side is the best to sort of walk on and things like that. So, uh, and we've, we know the route really well. So we, we're, we're gonna be fine taking Abby down on the lead just to show it us. So there's no harness work today. Uh, so she's just going to be taking her on the route, showing it on the lead. And obviously I explained earlier why that's important and uh, have a little walk around the, the res. So I think we're just going to go to the Sutton Reservoir. Are you ready for a nice long walk? It's going to be a long one. It's like going to be at least an hour. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, hop along. Come on, Abby. <laughs> First traffic lights, sound like a good girl. Okay, so we've done the long walk up here. We're now crossing over towards uh, towards the reser Kings uh, Kingsmill Reservoir over there somewhere. And a good girl so far. We need the thing, the twizzly thing. It's spinning. Let's go. Come. Okay, we found the entrance. We think she found it. She found it, did she? You clever. Yeah. So we've got about a mile loop walk. Please don't walk me into anything, Abby. Come on this way. Good girl. A mile loop walk, walk around here. The task for me is to try and figure out where the entrances and exits are because it's not that easy to find. Ooh, come on, a bit wide for you. <laughs> Um, and the other challenge we've got is that over the weekend we discovered that she uh, she's quite a fan of water. So, uh, and by quite a fan, she gets very enthusiastic. Uh, let's go right. My, uh, one sec. Right, if I go right, she's on the side of the water, which is probably not good. But it's easier for me to pick up the traffic when we come back around to know when to leave. Uh, we'll try right. We'll try right. Water. She'll get over the water. Yeah, good, not yet. good girl. Steady. So yeah, she, got, she gets quite enthusiastic around the water, so much so she sort of like kind of maybe wanted to go in there a little bit, um, which obviously isn't great. So, uh, but she has, I don't, I don't think she's been trained around it much. So I think we'll need to do a few walks around the water and obviously disencourage her from wanting to go in there unless she's on a, on a free run. So I don't think it's too bad. This one, apparently. Is it no dogs, no swimming? No dogs in water. Ah, there you go. Read the sign, Abby, no, no dogs. No swimming. No doggy paddling. Come yeah. A bit. Yeah, I think she's still a bit excited. Abby, sit. Good. Come. That's better. They're so little. Good girl. Sit. Good. Oh, 
Alright then. Alright then. Sure, you just dropped one. You might need the treat to walk past us. Abby. Walk past what? These geese and ducks. You like geese and ducks? Hudson like geese and ducks. I don't. Do you? No. Abby. Don't mess with them though, have you? No. They're not very nice sometimes. Don't go do that to them. Stop, stop uh, antagonising them. You causing trouble. I ain't, I ain't, if you start messing with some goose, I'm running off. You're on your own. You're on your own, dog. Oh, well, I kind of need you. Come here, then. Right, we're on our way back from the Res. This one now we're known as the Res route. That's very hard to say. I don't like it. Um, how's your foot, Emma? You're not limping any. Uh, not limping now, then. We have walked a good few miles so far. Abby's getting tired, look. She's a... Uh, I've done nine. You'd have seen the uh, lead early, nine miles. Yep. I haven't done that. <laughs> that's from horse riding though, that's cheating. No, it's not as hard. True. Um, as you can see, she's uh, getting a bit more tired now. When we were walking up, we had a bit more sort of pulling the lead a little bit. Now it's the opposite. I'm pretty much dragging her along. Um, Dragging Emma along, Miss Limp along. How did you even do it? What did you do? Uh, we got stuck on the gate and then the horse didn't stop. <laughs> and then the stirrup came off. And, so yeah. you've been at this horse riding place for. Well, you've been, what is oh, this? Wow. Like your fourth time? Uh, fourth, fifth time? And your body broke, broke the equipment? I didn't break it. Are you sure? Yeah, it's supposed to come off. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see. When you get back next week, can they? Like you owe us fifty pounds, please. I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah, shopping then hot tub. Come on, Abby girl, you've done well. You've seen this route, so hopefully, hopefully the trainers are back out on Thursday. I don't know what we're going to be doing then. Um, but she's now seen this route. Don't know how, how many times I'm going to be working that on my own. I mean. It's all right up to the res, but when, once I get there and walking around it, there's a lot of dogs, a lot of birds, a lot of water, and there are three favourite things by the look of it, so it might be a while till I, till I do do that on my own. But um, at least you've seen it, and at least I'll be able to work her up to that point, which is good. Um, so yeah, the trainers are back out in a couple of days, and uh, we'll continue our training from there, and I think soon we should be, hopefully, having our assessment. Woo! Hopefully we pass. I feel like we will. She's a good dog. Aren't you, Abs? You're a good dog. <laughs> right. Anyway, we'll leave that there. I thought I went over a curb, man. Uh, we'll leave that there, and uh, we'll see you for training day 17. It's nearly at the end, Emma. We're nearly finished. It's 17 to do. So, yeah, 17 videos to edit. Woo! <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> But yeah, hope you've been, all been enjoying it. As I've mentioned in previous videos, got any questions, just drop them in the comments below and uh, I'll do a Q and A at the end if we've had plenty. If we've had none, then I've got nothing to answer. But yeah, so leave your comments below, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and, uh, and share it with your friends and we'll see you again soon. Ah, where are we?